Bonjour à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. Bienvenue à votre deuxième journée de e-learning. So, welcome to your second e-learning day. So, uh, last time we talked about plurals of definite, indefinite articles, les, des, etc. Today, we're moving on to the conjugation of the verb avoir. And then you'll have the warm-up to do, which is translating some sentences. Avoir is probably one of the most important verbs in French. Okay? Uh, it is used in all different types of ways. So when we look at the verb avoir, A-V-O-I-R, meaning to have, it is irregular. So we've talked about regular ER verbs when you conjugate them. This is our first irregular one. All that it means when it's irregular is it will not follow the pattern of where you remove the ending and then add your endings back on. If you look here, this is technically an IR verb, but it's OIR, so that usually is an irregular verb. So when I conjugate this, um, I have a page from your book in TL Campus. It is page 117, and it will have the uh, avoir conjugation chart on it. There's not much there to follow along with, but if you want to, uh, you can. When you conjugate avoir to have, it's irregular. So it does not retain really any of its shape. It changes to a i, a s, a, a v o n s, a v e z, and o n t. And now here, if you can see, this marker wasn't the best. I have an E and an A here. So what I have to do is get rid of that E and make it an apostrophe for this one. So, j'ai, tu as, il, elle, on a, nous avons, vous avez, il, elle, on. So, I have, you have, he has, she has, we have, you have, they have, masculine and feminine. That's all it is, right? So if in your warm-up you see something that looks like I have three pencils, right? So if you want to translate this into French, your I have would be this one. So it would be J. And then the word for three in French is trois. And then we learned plurals, so I have to make this one plural. The word for pencil is crayon. And it's plural, so I add an S. Now you'll notice I do not have a definite article in front of it because I have this three. So if there's a number, you don't have to do LES or DES, right? You don't have to worry about that if there's a number. If I said, I have the pencils, this is where you'd want to use the definite article, right? So, let's erase this. I have the pencils. So if you see this, this is where you'd have to put the article. And it's the, not some, so I'm using the definite article, so it's L, E, S, and then pencils. J'ai les crayons. I have the pencils. So it just depends on what the sentence says. On yours, on your warm-up, I have the printed out here. So these are the sentences from your warm-up. So the first one says, I have three pencils, which we just did. Uh, we have five posters, so those have numbers in them. So for that, you just write the number out. You don't use an article. But this one says, I, they have the rulers, plural. So if it's plural, that's where you would use this for the. This one has some pens. So some is your D-E-S, right? So if it says some, that's what you would use for that one with the verb. Okay. And again, this is an irregular verb. 
when you are working with this verb, you have to think about the irregularities because it's learning a new form. So on your warm up, it will all use avoir. All of the verbs in the sentences will be avoir for that one. Bon, à bientôt. Au revoir.